Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So yesterday, Ireland released their song for Junior Eurovision 2022. So Sophie was selected. They had an internal singing competition, right, in Ireland. I think they've had a few years where that's been the case, where the artist has been selected through a singing contest and then they're given a song at the end of it. Um, I'm quite excited to listen to this song. I saw when I woke up this morning, and it's still morning here, on Instagram, ESC Shane, who is not me, by the way. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people out there that think we're the same person. It's a very different person. <laughs> um, but anyway, they put something on Instagram regarding the fact that this song is about mental health. And I take mental health very, very seriously. And I think anything that promotes mental health is a positive thing. And actually at Junior Eurovision with a junior audience, I think that can only be an amazing thing. So the song is called Solas. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to hearing this. Ireland was not a huge favourite of mine last year. <laughs> I think the performer was sweet. I think he was very dynamic, but the song itself just didn't really kind of resonate with me. So for me, Ireland can only go up in my personal tastes. But let's check it out. Let's see what Sophie is giving us for Junior Eurovision this year. Um, already it feels like Enya, already it feels like a theme song from the Titanic. <laughs> I love it. I have literally just listened to Georgia, which kind of blew me away a little bit. So Ireland, yeah, maybe it's slightly unfair to come after Georgia, but equally it might be just as good or even better. I do love the fact that at Junior Eurovision, they make them saying 60%, I thought it was 50%, but someone has, has re-educated me at 60% in their native tongue and Ireland have obviously gone for Gaelic as the 60% in which they sing their song in. It's a beautiful sounding, so uh, sounding language sung. Um, I love Celtic vibes. I'm from the UK, I'm from Devon, the Southwest, near Cornwall. Like Celtic vibes is, is a thing and it resonates with my ears positively. I mean, I've come to expect now for Ireland at Junior Eurovision. Last year was obviously different. They send more of a rocky song, but for them to go for a more traditional sound. Um, it's been quite interesting in the comments having discussions with one or two people about the idea of these song festivals, either adult or junior Eurovision, being a kind of monocultural festival, whereby you there are some countries, the songs that they send, you would never match that song with that country because there's nothing that necessarily resonates in that song with that culture or that kind of, yeah, culture is probably the right word there. So I'm glad Ireland is just embracing this kind of Celtic sound. And it's a lovely kind of sweet melody. I'm enjoying this. You know they're gonna do something with lighting there. That's gonna be a moment. Ah, oh, this is good. And you've got those Irish wind instruments in the background. I would like to hear more of those. I think embrace them at Junior Eurovision. The song is building. That's all I want in a song, particularly a slow song, is build. I've actually got goosebumps. I 
I love the fact that they've just not even bothered singing in English. They don't need to. It's such a beautiful sounding song. Ah, oh, I hope she delivers that note on stage. This is very, very, very good. Ah, oh, Sophie, that is very, very good. If I was Irish and from Ireland, I would be super, super proud of that entry. Like, like I said, I'm so, so happy that I decided to kind of keep in line with a more kind of Irish Celtic sounding song. Despite obviously the language, if I'd heard that song and someone asked me to match that song to a country, I'd straight away say Ireland. Um, which I think at Junior Eurovision, I think maybe there's a good idea that maybe that should be a thing. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of debate at Junior Eurovision at the moment about the kind of sounds and songs that countries should be sending. So I love the fact that they've sent a song that sounds from that country. It's a song that builds. I mean, obviously, the, it's a given that she's got a good voice. She's won a singing contest to get to Armenia in the first place and win the ticket for Ireland. So to talk about the voice at this point is obvious. Let's talk about the song. The song is so strong. Like I said, I've enjoyed so many songs so far this year and I'm enjoying my junior Eurovision 2022 journey. I don't know whether it's because I'm tired or it's early <laughs> or maybe this is the second cup of coffee, but that's the first song that gave me goosebumps. Like, that's a very, very good song. Like, if I was from Ireland, I'd be super proud of that package. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes down because in regards to the show in December, because that deserves to do well. That is a quality sounding song that builds and there's moments in that song that can be elevated with staging and lighting to give Sophie the best opportunity to get the best position. Ireland, I mean, this is a thousand times better in my opinion to what Ireland sent last year. This is competitive. Oh my goodness, this year is so competitive. Like it's gonna get to the point where all of these songs it doesn't matter who comes 14th or 15th because they're all so good. And there has been one or two comments, which I kind of agree with at Junior Eurovision. Is it just appropriate to announce the top five? Because I think this year, whoever comes 13th or 14th, it's unfortunate because they equally could be second or third because the quality is so good. So I don't know whether there is a debate out there to be had about maybe at Junior Eurovision just announcing the top five. Do we need to know all the other places? Is that fair? Particularly in a year where I think a lot of this a lot of the songs are super competitive um wow that's been a fantastic start to my morning well done sophie well done island that is a cracker that's a good song that's a good song right okay i need to go to work or i'll get fired <laughs> um if you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel please do please click the notification button so you're informed if and when i post videos and yeah until next time stay safe